Welcome to League One Football. Welcome to our transfer window. And welcome our new players. Welcome back to episode 11, Capri Heroes. And we're here for our first game of League One Football against Peterborough. We'll have a little run through where we are, who we've got, who we've signed, explain to you why the faces have disappeared, and uh, I suppose run through it there. But before we jump into it, if you could do me the favour of liking and subscribing on the channel, showing your support, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, I'll do our fixtures firstly. There's no one really anyone there that uh, we need to be kind of hiding, but I can just show you what's happened. You've probably noticed a few of our signings. Uh, we played Man City's <laughs> under 23s, had a draw. We played St. Neots, draw. We then got absolutely shafted by Everton, who played a strong team by the looks of it, which is nice of them. Uh, and then we've just played Crew most recently, and we've had another draw. So we yet to taste victory. Uh, Crew, who are from League Two, St. Neots, who are from the National North, and obviously Everton, who are a Premier League team. I'll run through our release players firstly. So there's quite a few familiar names there. Uh, Finn Azaz has gone. Um, Lapata, Burgess, Billy Mitchell, we'll let him go. Uh, Ryan Slater, shall we see if any of them have picked up teams? We'll have a little skim over these. Scott Burgess has gone to Yeovil. Mitchell's over at FC United. Ryan Slater's gone to Barnsley. Peter O'Driscoll to Galway United. John Joe, he's gone. He's, he's now... What's that? Director of Football? Not very good. I'm probably keeping him away from kids. He's got a nasty, uh, nasty habit of trying to kill him off. Uh, and finally, Gilmore. I released him because he was sulking and he wasn't training very well. And I says, lad, do you just want to cancel your contract? And he said, no. So I said, get out. Well, the players that have left us, all low knees now. Uh, Paul Salmon has gone over to Billericay. Uh, forgive me, window's still open, still extremely hot. Uh, Paul Salmon's over at Billericay. Robert Astley has gone over on loan to Yeovil. And Jordan Aina has gone to Telford. All youngsters, decent potential, get them some game time. Uh, our loanee, we brought Stevie Peake back. So he was with us, actually he came through our youth academy. Was with us last season, pretty handy. Um, playing alongside Stevenson. Did look at bringing a few of those loanees back, but they just want extortionate figures, and I just couldn't justify paying it. I probably could have, well, I definitely could have afforded it, but I didn't want to be paying like three grand a week for a loanee, so I haven't. I'm trying to be a little bit more restricted in what I'm doing. I know we can afford more, but I'm not doing it. Uh, his new central partner is Anthony Key. Quay? Key? I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Um, he's alright, he's alright, uh, one of them will be a box to box, the other one will be a deep line playmaker, I'm not 100% sold on who's going to be what yet, I might make him the box to box to be fair, we needed more wingers, we're still looking for some actually to be fair, uh, we brought in Mamadi Camera on a free, so he's going to be that left winger cutting in on his right foot, he's going to be a, a pretty handy, uh, handy player out there on the left, and then Godfrey John, who's uh, another option up front for us. He's he's pretty good. He's pretty good. So we've only got one low knee at the moment. Uh, I believe there's restrictions on uh, how many we can play. Yeah, so it's the same restrictions. We'll probably look at bringing some more in towards the end of the window. But this is just what we're playing with at the moment. Uh, I am looking for a new goalkeeper. But I haven't really found one that's considerably better than Nichols. So... Didn't particularly want to be pushing him or Grashik out of the team completely for someone that's just marginally better. So, it's kind of what we've got loaning up at the moment. I had a look at trying to sell Beareth, and that didn't go very well. And I had an offer for Scotty Briggs made of 17 grand, and he didn't want to leave. We're going to play Peterborough. We'll jump back, have a look at those stats, how we line up against the rest of the league. And then we'll be back for the next episode. But uh, quite, quite a snappy one. I say that, I've been talking for about 10 minutes already. We'll, um, we'll get into the game against Peterborough. Uh, they are expected, should we have a little look? In 8th, so they're a decent team, as you'd expect. Our team that we're going to be running into it with 
is Nichols in goal. We've got Watkin Jones, Taylor, Stevens, and El Morsi across the back four. Uh, Watkin Jones were brought in uh, out of contract at the end of last season, so I realised that I haven't shown him yet. Um, pretty decent, 18 year old, coming from Liverpool. Should definitely do a job for us. He's been, oh, was it out of contract or is that just the crossover? I think that might be the crossover. He'll do all right. Uh, he doesn't have a face. I've got rid of the face pack. It was like nine gig and I'm running on limited space on my laptop anyway. So I'm just going to have to deal with it. It was a luxury. I probably can't afford. Uh, midfield, we've got Durkin and Kamara are starting. I know I said that Kamara was going to play on the left, but I quite literally have no other right mids. Uh, Damian Brady is the only one, and James Clark, who's one of our right backs. Uh, we then have Key and Peak in the middle, and then we have Godfrey John and John McGregor. Joe McGregor. I've ruined that. Uh, I, I just wanted it to be Godfrey John McGregor. That would be smooth. It was not. It's wrong name. I've just paused it. I'm not sure why. I saw it. Panicked. Paused. Our first highlight of League One, Durkin's putting in a corner by the looks of it. He's putting it towards Stevenson, or it may be Taylor piling into it. Let's see where it goes. Oh, it, it's nodded away quite comfortably. It's come out to key. He's going to head down the right-hand side. The car wombles past the window. The loudest vehicle in the world. Might have to close that. Chesinovsky, I'm sure he was playing against us last season. He's put a brilliant ball through to Sims, who's absolutely walked around the goalie and just popped it in the corner. That was a little bit too easy for him. Mildly concerned. So throwing for them on their left-hand side. It's Fevrias. Oh, has a key given away a penalty? No, it's a good it's good, uh, good tackle. Turner's got it on the edge of the area. Got it to Danda. Over to Favrier. He's smashed it off the post. And his, uh, his other winger or striker was completely asleep. Because he'd have had a tap in them. Oh, no. We've got an injury, man. So Stephen Durkin's picked up a straight-up injury. So we will slap Kamara over on that left-hand side. We'll bring Brady in to play on the right. And we'll let it run through. It's only 23 minutes in. As a highlight, it's a free kick for uh, Peterborough far out on the right. Brilliant save from Nichols, but I'm pretty sure he carried it over the line. I'm not going to bring that to the uh, linesman's attention, though. John nods it down to Kamara. Does have John just inside of him still? No, he's gone past. Oh, what a goal. I like that. I like that a lot. Could have gone down, gone for the pen. Wasn't interested. Carried on. Popped it in the corner. What a fella. Beautiful. Look at this. Probably would have been a free kick anyway, but he wasn't interested in it. I'll just have a goal instead. Thank you very much. We're heading up towards half time. It's um it's been going alright. Been going alright. I think I'm just gonna tell them that they're doing alright and then kinda of get out there and do a little bit better in the second half. Fifty minutes, so throwing for Peterborough on the right hand side. Keep forgetting it's Peterborough I'm playing against for some reason. It's uh, Turner in the middle. Oh, I thought he was going to get the ball off him, but McGregor's done it. Poor pass back from their players. McGregor is through with the goalie. Oh, he's put it in. It's 2-1. I know Sol scored about 36 goals last season, and I've completely dropped him. Bear with me. McGregor's brilliant. Godfrey John is also brilliant. Jamie Sol can come off the bench and do a madness from there as well. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's a good sign. Just coming up to the hour mark. I think we'll make a substitution now. We've already had one on the board though, because Durkins came off. Um, Peak isn't doing a lot, so we'll bring Key over for him. We'll bring Taylor forward and we'll put Pruti on at centre back. And we'll change that to being a ball winning mid on defend. Nah, support. That'll do. Um, the third substitution Brady's got an injury as well, but I think. No, it's important because I don't have many players. I can't afford to pick up injuries. We'll um, bring Clark on for him. 15 left on the clock. I've just dropped us back to balanced. Uh, I think what I am going to do is just knock these down one. Put the time wasting up slightly. Here we go now. Just to five minutes. That highlight looked like it was going into. It's just one of the ones from when you're changing uh, tactics. It's, um, it's running into injury time. I think we're going to nick a win on our first game of the season. Happy days. I was not expecting that from how early and, and easily Peterborough scored, but I think we've came away not deserved winners necessarily, but we've put in a good account for ourselves against a decent team. In comparison with the rest of the league, I'm not going to look at any attendances or anything like that because they're um, it's only one game in really, <laughs> uh, but I will have a look at transfer spend, uh, which has us up in seventh somehow. I think it's just because we've 
received less money than other teams. Barnsley have received 25 million. That's unacceptable. Let me have a little gander at this. So who have these just sold them? So, transfer history. Uh, they've sold two players. Antonio Marin, of course. And uh, Gerson Valdez. Yep, completely fair. So they've got 25 million in. How am I supposed to compete with that? <laughs> uh, and then we have our wages. So where are we? We are not 18th. So there's another six teams in that. Uh, I'm feeling... Yeah, okay. Lowest in the league. A little bit off. We're about half a million short. But we do have quite a few players missing. So if I can throw some in there, um, improve up the squad a bit. Because if we look at it, I've only really got this many. Not ideal. So we're going to have to bring in some low knees and uh, bulk out that squad a bit. But there's just no one really that we're looking for that we're... Um, that we're interested in. I've realised that my head's in the way. Let me move my head out of the way and then do this again. Look at that. There you go. Uh, three of these are loaned out as well. Of course I've loaned out players. I'm thinking we'll come back after the transfer window's closed with Cheltenham and Lincoln. Maybe just Cheltenham. Depends on how busy I've been. And um, we, we can have a look. Hopefully we'll get through Dons in the FA Cup first round. But if you have enjoyed that, give me a like, subscribe, flick the bell. And thank you very much for your time.